What's up guys, Henry NWR Free here with a new video for you today. And today we have to take a look at the Timmis Tipping Bridge. This is a pretty cool set as it is actually like two destinations in once. It's like the old quarry mine tunnel as it tips up of course. But it's like a normal bridge at the same time. So I'm very interested in it. And getting it for a good deal always helps. Anyway, let's spin it onto the back, and as you can see, we have two tracks that can go under, so I really like that already. But, Timbus Tipping Bridge. Send an engine over the bridge, the bridge tips down, and the engine rolls through below. As the bridge tips, it opens a passageway for another engine to pass through, going the opposite direction for more fun play. Alright, so it's a pretty basic destination, but with the tipping, gives it a little extra flair. But I'll see you when this is outside the box. This is a two-sided destination piece. One side depicts Tin Myth with some goods wagons and as well as signs saying welcome to Tin Myth, while the other side has some barrels and other materials saying welcome to er, Brendam in this direction, which is pretty cool. Now Brendam is a little bit farther away from Tin Myth than it may seem, but at the end of the day it's some great artwork on the sides. Now today we have James to test out this destination. We have some a little bit of track here and there to show it off but either way we have two panels underneath Thomas can't really go underneath this one so far so unfortunately he's a little stuck right there but James needs to get to his part of the line so it goes up here goes along the tipping bridge it tips he crashes and Thomas can go through and he crashes too and then you just move the bridge like that there's a swinging yellow door, and yes, James is back on the line now. But either way, this is a really fun destination. It just adds some flair to your layout, and I really do feel like it adds a lot of possibilities for more fun on your layout, which is the main thing, and its construction is pretty well. Now, there is a lot of plastic in it. I will give it that, but I do like how they actually incorporate wood. Like, for example, these plastic pieces right here, they actually put a layer of wood on the outside to do the illustrations on. I think that's pretty cool that even though it's made of plastic they at least try to push the wood agenda on there and then try to completely fake you out and give you a complete plastic piece and I also like how the main bit of it is actually wood and it has some solid weight to it and it feels like a really solid piece either way at TJ Maxx and Home Goods right now this piece is about $20 and I really do feel like for that price this is a bargain and I really do recommend it Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.